So uh, I am by education a physicist and, uh, and I have a PhD in applied mathematics. And what interests me uh, the most these days is uh, a dynamic approach to machine learning. So most of the examples that you see these days in the media uh, regarding machine learning are, are intrinsically static. Think of uh, picture or classification or image recognition or these Netflix, Netflix or Amazon recommendation systems, those are static. I go for things that have to do with time, uh, things that are dynamic. So dynamic problems are those in which uh, the question, what comes next, is relevant. And that's what we try to answer. So think, for example, of uh, logistics or what happens in finance when, where you have to handle uh, portfolios and you have to rebalance them. And then you want to know what is the smartest way to go about things in the next time step. So this is the kind of problems that we handle with the algorithms that we are designing. Moreover, the, the mathematical technology that we are designing has the advantage that we can implement it in dedicated hardware systems that run much faster than the standard computers that we are used to. These are either optical or optoelectronical systems, and uh, this is real hardware that we are developing in collaboration with the IBM Labs in, in Zurich, and uh, we like to think of, the, of these systems as the computers of the future. Heisegay is a good place to, to tackle these kind of problems is, is because uh, many of these aspects of human activity are a source of uh, big data problems. So um, one type of big data problems come from accumulating streams of data in time. So um, having uh, machine learning algorithms and, 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 uh, and systems that are able to, to uh, handle or to uh, uh, process this information in real time without accumulating it is, is a way to solve this big data uh, problem. So a standard example for this would be high frequency trading in, in the financial markets where you have data that is coming in the milliseconds, you have thousands of assets, if you wait until the end of the day to, to handle of the, all that information, it's going to be extremely complicated. So it's much better if you have uh, uh, an ad hoc, a uh, well-tailored system that is able to process this information as it comes. So another point that makes our uh, work here in Haske very rewarding is the fact that we are encouraged to share this multidisciplinary research with uh, students. So uh, we have recently put together um, a certificate program, we call it Data Science Fundamentals uh, Program, where our, our students are being exposed to basically what comes next. So uh, there is this huge demand coming from students uh, having to do with basically uh, big data, uh, data handling, uh, machine learning. And uh, well, we are adapting all those contents to other students who are very happy to have them. And it's actually very pleasant to be part of it.